Hello, my crafty friends. Today I am sharing a fun fold card. This one is called a four panel fold card and it opens like this. I just really felt like making something bright and cheery and this card filled that bill. As usual, I started with the patterned paper and I'm using this Love Notes by Doodlebug recently. It's a package that I purchased. There's a 12 by 12 sheet of stickers included. And I also bought the embellishment pack. They're called Odds and Ends. So the Love Notes embellishments. And that's where a lot of my little goodies came from were the Odds and Ends that coordinate perfectly with the pattern paper. I also used a die set to create this card. I really like Funfold dies and particularly ones that are completely generic and I know that I can use for many different occasions for, for many years to come. So this one is the four panel fold card with layers die set by Divinity Designs. So it comes with the die and you can see that there is the die cuts these three panels and a tab and then the fourth panel here adheres to that tab and then there are the layering dies included. I always love it when layering dies are included in a die set. So let me just stand up my card here. I'm going to show you the main die. This die requires a 12 inch length of cardstock. So it's exactly 12 inches from end to end. So I cut my, my 12 by 12 sheet in half at six inches. And then I die cut this piece from the white cardstock. And then I take the additional piece, which is here and I die cut that from the same white cardstock, adhere them together, and then I have my, my card base. This die is the layering die for the front, and then there are other dies included. So this is the largest layering die that goes here, and then there's two for these two panels here. The layering dies allow you to place it whereabouts on the pattern paper you wish the pattern, which, which is always handy. Edges are always straight, and with the Divinity Designs dies, um, you can also emboss the edges for additional detail. It's a step I don't do often, but the option is there, which is kind of nice. This die also requires an extended cutting pad. I normally use the Magic Mat from scrapbook.com. I have that linked on my blog with my Spellbinders Platinum 6 machine, but I kept the extended platform and cutting pads from my old Sizzix Big Shot. And so I get that out when I'm running one of these dies through. But if you don't have those and you want the die set, you can use removable tape, tape this down onto your cardstock, run it through as it will allow, turn it around and then run the next half through. As long as your die is taped down and doesn't move around on the cardstock, that's no problem. So width wise is no problem. It's just, if you look at that and you think, I don't have a cutting pad long enough, you don't need to worry about that. I've made several others of these. I quite like the die set. But I decided if I have the 12 by 12 inch cardstock out and my extended cutting pads out, I'm going to make a couple of card bases. So I actually cut down two sheets of 12 by 12 and made four of the white card bases. I did attach that panel to the tab. So I have three additional four panel fold card bases ready to go and layer when I'm ready to create the cards. So I figured, figured that will be a little bit of a time saver there. Now for my card, as I said, I use that pattern paper, the ovals, they're also from Divinity Designs. They're the oval stitched rows and I'm really enjoying oval dies these days and I really like the double rows of stitching that you get. I, I just like a detail around the edge of my dies. The hello is from Karen Berniston's waterfall card die set. It's just a nice little hello die. Die cut it from black cardstock and then I have the little bird which is a typical doodle bug embellishment. I normally add a black glaze pen to the critter eyes. They just give it a little bit of a lift and then some white gel pen highlights on this one. I liked the envelope with flowers. They're the same flowers as on the pattern paper and I'm not sure if that sparkle is going to show up but I used the pops of color. That's from scrapbook.com. This particular bottle was a free with purchase, but I love it and I'm using it a lot. You can see all of the sparkle and shine that you get and it's more raised and shiny than say it would be with stickles, but not as raised and shiny as it would be if you used like a Nouveau drop. So it's kind of in between the two. 
I didn't add anything here, but this would be a panel where you could use this layering die on this panel and that could be where you write your sentiment. Instead, I used that same layering die for my panel here and I used the bike, added some more glitter. But before I added that panel down, I used blending brushes and Catherine Pooler's ink in blue and green just to give the background a little something something. Another bird here, more of the sparkle, and then I wanted a place to sign. So there it is on the back. I used another one of the layering dies. It's the same one as here. A scrap of the doodlebug patterned paper, another one of the elements from the odds and ends, and the thinking of you is from Gina Kay's Just Because stamp set. I use VersaClair ink. It gives a beautiful, rich black ink, and then there's room to sign my name. This card does fold flat. The 12 by 12 cardstock that I used is also fairly lightweight. I would say it's a 65 pound. I don't even think it's as heavy as 80 pound. And while that's nowhere near strong enough for a card base, in my opinion, when you start adding all of the patterned papers to it and on the back there is that second panel, the card feels nice and sturdy in my hand. I really am not a fan of kind of wussy cards. These cards stand really nicely for display. I will link in the description box below the label from my blog where I have made the other four panel cards. So if you're curious and you would like to see other ones that I have made, you can check those out. Now quite often you can put a belly band on and you decorate the belly band, slide off the belly band, and then you just have your patterned paper. But I kind of like them without the belly band. I still have lots of ideas on using this with an embellishment that hangs over the edge. And yeah, I've got lots of ideas using this die set. The die set is not new to my craft room. I waited a long time to purchase it. And it's also a good opportunity to use up some smaller pattern papers if you've got a package of 12 by 12s that have some smaller bits in it. This is a great die set to use those up. And what a cheerful card to send out for Happy Mail. If you enjoyed my video today, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. That's it for me today.